What's up everybody, Fuad Fiel here, Master Trainer at Alfman System. And today, I'm introducing to you the second pillar of our system, the mental pillar. For a while now, I was planning the perfect footsteps to introduce to you this pillar. I know I'm late, yet as the saying goes, it's better to be late than never show up. So without further ado, let's begin. When I talk about the mental pillar, I'm not referring to a specific technique like the mindfulness technique. I'm not referring to a specific school like behaviorism. I'm not referring to an integrative approach like the neurolinguistic approach. At Elfman System, we like to take things more seriously and dive deeper into the athlete's mindset and give credit where credit is due. So these fundamentals do not represent a specific school, do not represent a specific approach from a specific author, yet it has been harvested holistically, which means if we gathered those schools and we gave them an athlete and told them, approach him as holistically as possible, these fundamentals will be the result. So let's begin. So as you can see, we have number one, your belief system. Number two, your environment. Number three, your behavior, which means the behavior out of those previous two. Number four, your expectations, what you expect from such behavior. And number five, and the final one, is the results. And this is very important because this represents the actual results that return to us either as planned or in some immature people by saying, well, that was not what I wanted. So let's start with fundamental number one. Your belief system is very important when it comes to sport. What you carry out of that belief, its guidelines, its structure, its ethics, its way of life, will all manifest in your work as an athlete or as a fitness enthusiast. Now pay in mind that although much of the belief systems harmonize on most of their guidelines, yet what the person perceives out of this belief is what he will introduce to the game. Fundamental number two, your environment. Yes, your environment, your father, your mother, your relationship with them and with your siblings will become evident in your mental game. For example, if your father is an intellect survivor and your mother has the Yeto life as Nietzsche said, you will mainly bring a survivor character with the willingness to never give up. Which means, you will never say yes to death, you will always say yes to life and you will keep on competing and becoming better each day. So for today, I want you to ponder on these two fundamentals, your belief system and your environment. How did they influence you? Did you ever pay attention that they influenced you in your mental game, in your sports game, in your attendance to the gym, in you carrying out a healthy lifestyle? Find out by asking yourself these questions. How do I resemble to both of my parents? What are my relationship with them? How do I perceive my siblings? What is my relationship with them? Now, these are just the beginning steps. Take your time, write them down, and share them. Thank you for watching. See you next time.